What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are doing the individual club packs. So I'll try and keep this short and sweet but we are going to be doing a uh, training guide for every player within this. They are 1500 coins. I have covered it in a lot of videos already. We've done kind of like a, a review and a breakdown but people have been asking me to do like you know that if you've actually bought the pack to do training guides specific to this manager. So that is what we've done here. Now obviously with this pack you are going to be getting Inzaghi, who will boost your stamina. Now, stamina is probably one of the worst stats that you could have boosted because it makes no difference. There's no real difference, in my opinion, between stamina being 75 to, like, 85. There's no real difference whatsoever, lads. Um, you know, you're always going to sub out players that get tired. It doesn't make any real difference. Fighting spirit is still going to, you know, override a lot of that stuff, right? But in saying that, I mean, you're probably not buying it because of that. You're probably buying it because of the players, Okay. So, very, very quickly, I have a graphic done up here. This is what I would say is worth getting out of the Interpack and worth training in. Borella is definitely the pick of the pack. I've done a training guide on him already, but I've kind of slightly changed it, so keep it locked here for a couple of minutes because we will do that in a second. But these players are pretty decent. They're kind of hit and miss. The rest of them, I would say, that have no thumbs up beside them. You can get better players in your squad. squad. Like, if you're playing a 3-5-2... You can definitely have uh, Dumfries and DeMarco in with Darmian as a good backup if you're just using Inter Milan players. But I just feel like that there's so many players here that even if you've started playing the game very recently, you will be able to go into the GP marketplace and get Wambasaka, who's, you know, probably the best defensive right mid right back in the game. You could be able to buy Cancelo, you'll be able to buy uh, uh, Hakimi. Any of those guys can do a job for you, right? So when we actually take a look over here at the training guides, we're going to start with Letaro Martinez. And I'm just going to leave that training guide up there and uh, you can see. So we've nine into shooting, eight into dribbling. I've zoomed in on this page as well to give you a better look at it. 11 into dexterity and five into lower body. You're not going to have to worry about anything else there. Speed and stamina are fine. The big trick with Lataro lads is getting it into his feet and spinning your defender. That's basically what you have to do with him. 88 finishing, you'll be able to finish your meals no problem. Offensive awareness is really high. Balance is really high. And we're just missing that 88 acceleration. But to be honest, you could change that depending on your play style. Uh, because you don't need that much, I would say, into the dribbling. I would probably go with that route there. And go pop one more into that to get 92 offensive awareness, 91 balance, 88 acceleration and 88 finishing. You've got your Mario Light basically there. So it's a pretty decent player. And obviously with the player skills as well. I would say that if you are looking to use Lataro Martinez here. Um, you could get like, you know, a different training guide or different player skills on him if you want. One touch shot is a must on this card if you are going to be using him as your main guy, right? That is one thing I will say. Moving on from that, we also have Borella. So Borella is probably my favorite player here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, in this pack. I slept on Borella. I apologize to everyone for sleeping on Borella for so long. I still think Goretzka was the better option for me with his playstyle, but Barella and Jude Bellingham now reign supreme as the best box-to-box -box players in the game. I would say from an attacking point of view, you probably are still better off going with Pedri. I know you can make a really attacking build with this guy if you wanted to pump that up and get, you know, 70 finishing with the boost, or else you could go even a little bit more um, hot with that one if you wanted to and have maybe like one into passing and one into dribbling to have a really attacking build, but I do feel having a few into the defensive uh, is probably where you need to go with it. So that is my ultimate build for him here. Just bear with me, right? Because this, the free player progression is still on, let's try that build. Seven into passing and dribbling, 12 into dexterity, five into lower body and four into defending. Just try that build as part of a three-man midfield or part of a, a three-man central midfield with two uh, side midfielders or right wingers or left wingers, right? Try that one out. We also have a Bastoni, so you can see here that Bastoni is going to be your main uh, center back. He's, you know, he's tall enough to kind of carry that load. He's a really, really good player. 13 into defending, 5 into aerial, and then 4 into dexterity to get that acceleration up to 75 with the boost. We also have Shalhanglu. This guy is just a demon attacking midfielder. I wouldn't play him central because he has no defensive capabilities whatsoever, but he's got good everything else. You've also got Sommer. There's his stats, 11, 8, and 5 for Sommer. You can see there he's going to have 90 in 3 of those stats, 95 jump, which will go to 98 with the boost, or 96 with the boost, 7 boost. Um, we also have Fratesi. This guy is obviously a younger style player. He's down as a whole player, so that kind of like pushes us into making him, you know, a very dribble-centric, acceleration, balance type player. We also have Turam. 
This guy is just a bit of a bust, lads. I mean, look at his balance. It's very, very poor. Acceleration is good, but his ball control is poor. And that tight possession is shameful, man. It's very, very poor card for a premium item, in my opinion. Similarly with DeMarco, right? DeMarco's not a bad option to have. Um, you know, he's just he doesn't excel in anything. He's just kind of like an all-rounder um, that can get up and down the pitch. But you can get a dem for a dime a dozen in the GP marketplace. The same with the Frige. The Frige is just pure strength and uh, defense. There's no mobility, no versatility, nothing. He's just good in the air. He's he's not as tall as Bastoni, but he's close enough. And then last but not least, we have Dumfries and we have Darmian. So Dumfries is going to be down as your right back. Again, you're going to get 90 speed and acceleration with the boost. You're going to have 90 plus stamina and dribbling and passing and defense. It's a very, very solid card. I still think you need to have a really solid defensive right player, um, right back or something like that, or else a defensive left back. And both of these don't really do that. So for me, they are a bit of bust, right? I just feel that like at this stage, right, when I have that graphic up, you do have to kind of question whether it is worth buying these buying this pack for 1500 coins um when s s players are, like some of the players are very very mid like they're really really bad and especially this inter pack um it is kind of disappointing there that you have a couple of players that probably could be better and could have better um you know could have better stats so yeah that is it for me. I will be back with another review and a breakdown and an ultimate training guide of all of those guys. I will be buying one of these packs for our live stream as well. So make sure you keep it locked to me and the channel for that. But until next time, lads, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.